need to wait. Oh, God. Uh, no, we'll go. Okay. Uh, yes, so uh, I got out of the locker room just uh, briefly ago and told the guys how proud I was of them, of uh, their halftime. You know, during the halftime, they were great. You know, they looked at each other in the eye and leaned in and leaned on each other and looked at each other and said, we got this. You know, and that's a different attitude and different culture uh, that we've developed over here um, the last couple years. And, uh, and the guys did a nice job in the second half. Obviously, blocking that punt was a big spark. You know, Hardy did an awesome job with that. And then scooping it up by J.O., uh, really, really nice play there. And then the defense with the, the, you know, the three turnovers in the fourth quarter, excellent job there. So, uh, and one in return for a touchdown. Uh, you know, I thought in the first half the defense didn't uh, uh, play the run as well as we're used to, uh, but I did think in the second half we made some good adjustments and did a nice job that way. Uh, I thought kickoff cover did a nice job. You know, really good job with setting the field. I know that's a new uh, new situation for everybody. I thought guys did a nice job of using technique, uh, working really hard on that, and uh, made some really good tackles. And you could see our hustle uh, not only on, on the special teams, on both our cover teams, the punt team and the kickoff, the extra effort, you know, because there was times where the first guy would miss it, but you saw guys that were in pursuit being able to get there. And we're going to get some turnovers on those, on those particular uh, groups as well as we go forward. Um, you know, in terms of the offense, you know, I told the guys this uh, many weeks ago, we need to play well around Caleb, and we got to continue to do that, you know, so... Uh, we're going to look at uh, everything there in terms of the operation. I thought the operation was good. I, thought, I know we had one delay. Uh, but, again, he's got to keep getting better every single week. And um, as he does that as a rookie quarterback, because I think he's the first guy to win since, like, 2002, 014 and 1, I believe. Um, and that's because of the team around him played better in the second half. And we just not, you need to keep doing that um, as he grows and develops, because he is a talent. Um, he, he's smart as a whip and knows the offense, and we just got to keep uh, playing well around him as he grows and reinvests and, and improves. And he's going to learn a lot these first three or four games um, in terms of the NFL looks, the NFL speed, um, and all the things that we have to do. Uh, so with that, open up the questions. In the second half, what did you like about that? Was it a personnel thing or a Caleb thing in terms of – it was, I think, when you, you know, sometimes when you struggle on offense, I think it's a pace thing. You know, you're just trying to get him going, and uh, he, he likes that. And I think he's very natural doing that, you know, going fast and, and you know, doing the uh, no huddle. And I think he operates uh, best that way. And he's exhibited that in practice. Um, not to say we're always going to do that, but it's certainly a way to, to be able to spark uh, the offense a little bit. How much his struggle was related to maybe anxiety from his first NFL game? Oh, I don't think there was any anxiety. He was he was calm, cool, and collected the whole time. Uh, never got frustrated. Uh, I always talked to him about the response that you have um, of just hanging in there because sometimes it can get rough on both sides. You know, it can get it can get rough. You just got to hang in there, and you got to have that belief, belief uh, in the man next to you, belief in your teammates. It's not just about one guy, and uh, that's what I saw at halftime, and they they exhibited that in the second half. Matt, there was a sack from a loss of 19 in the first half. It looked like it was possibly a screen. Can you tell us what was the miscommunication that happened there? Uh, there was no miscommunication. I believe that their D lineman just busted through the block that we had for him uh, and then created the pressure there. Uh, I know Caleb tried to get rid of it, you know, because we were in the kick line there. I think we just went up, went for a fourth down before that, I believe. Um, but, yeah, he's got to do a good job of getting rid of that if he can. But, again, again, I thought the D lineman made a nice play. Davis and, um, and Bates rotated. Is that the plan going into the game, or did something happen? Different? No, that was the plan. That was the plan. Both guys were dealing with, you know, health issues during training camp. We wanted to make sure they could both finish the game, so we were going two and two there. How would you describe how aggressive you were coming after Levis, especially in the second half? Yeah, you know, so as you look at uh, the game um, and you look at how people are doing things uh, in terms of their protection, people they have in the game, so forth and so on, um, then you look at situations, and you go to your you go to your card and look at see what's the best thing to attack that. And we always do that, and that's just what you saw today. Matt, going going out of camp and knowing that Caleb's in his first you know first ever game, is this kind of how you envisioned it going? Maybe you know what I mean, just the defense, the way they played coming out. Yeah, I mean you know that's uh, when you start a rookie quarterback, which we were doing, um, you know, he's going to have ups and downs and good moments and, and other moments. You know, so like I said, we have to just play well around him. Make sure the operation's clean. Um, you know, make sure we don't turn the ball over. 
right? And you know, and give people short fields and, and free plays. And it's okay to end the ball in the in the series with a kick. You know, so as long as we end it with a punt, we end it with an extra point or a field goal. And like I said, Cairo did an awesome job today of uh, of doing that and making his kicks. And uh, the operation was good. We you know we have a new long snapper, short snapper. So he, I thought that was really good operation today for those guys. Darryl Taylor, Taylor's kind of an under the radar guy. How big was his strip sack, and what do you see from him since he joined the team? Energy. You know, he is straight energy. He 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 brings it every single day. I love his passion, and um, you know. He fits in right with our guys, uh, and uh, it, it was great. He's he's been uh, great in the building. What a great pro, you know, taking advantage of everybody that we utilize in the building because we have a great staff um, in terms of performance, strength staff, everybody we have in the building. So he's been doing doing great, and he fit right in. And uh, I had a, a short meeting with him, told us about us, you know, and how we operate, and he he loved it. So uh, it's good it's good that he's here. Matt, the way you guys won today uh, with Caleb struggling is the idea that that formula could carry you for a little while until Caleb until things click for him and he's able to be a difference maker well I know in the NFL that every week's different you know there'll be times where you know in the games ebb and, ebb and flow they really do and and you just got to be good as a team you know it, it's never it's never about just one side or one person it's about us being able to figure it out uh, during the game and figure out our winning formula for that particular day. And that, that could change. You know, but then, then once you get a, a solidified, you know, quarterback that's got that's a seasoned veteran, I think it becomes pretty clear how you operate and how you how you do things. We've seen all those guys um, in the past. Our guy's very talented. Again, this is his first game and he's gonna continue to get better. Do you foresee more opportunities for Bayless Jones granted uh, the mistake today? Yeah, I was proud of Bayless Jones. Uh, really was. I know that that's not what he wanted, obviously. Um, and I thought we responded well on defense. You know, we th held him to th uh, three points in that particular case. Um, so that's what we call sudden change, and that's how we operate. But uh, he did a nice job coming in and, and at the halfback position. You know, did a nice job of getting north, and I thought he did well there. And we'll evaluate in terms of kick return um, as we go. From what you've gotten to know about Caleb in the last couple of months, what about him do you think they wanted to recover from not a great first game and improve from week to week? You've talked about the biggest leap you make is probably week one to week two. Yeah, just his character and the man that he is. He has he has belief in himself. Uh, he, he's comfortable in his own skin. And then his his uh, he's got teammates that believe in him and, and, and trust him and know him and that he can lean in on um, as we go through this week and, and get better. Um, and uh, that's what we're going to do this week. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right.